Starting this video with a little bit different perspective with the defect itself. As you see, we have a small broken tooth on a gear wheel, and yeah, because usually manufacturers don't offer these small parts as replacements, and you have to replace complete unit. It will cost you about 100 euros when, when all in all it's just a small plastic tooth so we will try to repair it i already pre-drilled few holes and what i want to do is i will insert this or first of all i will grind off part of this uh, screw, uh, screw the head and make it a little bit smaller and then i will insert it into the hole and then i'll try this soda and super glue method let's see how it will get out uh, yeah, i will not film everything uh, only uh, partly updates so we'll see what what will happen with it so ended up uh, removing the gear from the uh, gearbox itself as it is more uh, easier to work with and this is what what we have uh, yes as i said i removed the head of the bolt and one screw is already screwed in i used a little bit of loctite so now the next one gets in and i will clean it with isopropyl alcohol so soda and super glue uh, it's first time when i tried this but i really liked it in principle you just add a little bit of soda uh, just to cover the upper teeth and uh, add a one drop of, of super glue was uh, fully enough in this uh, this uh, example and it dries very quickly uh, and then you have quite hard material and because we have screws inside it will not uh, go out that easily it uh, doesn't uh, have to bond very specially to, to the plastic so this is good too and uh, yeah then uh, all we have to do is uh, uh, shape uh, the, the form of the teeth as you have it uh, on um, example on the sides This is just an example that uh, when working with microscope perspective is very important as I yeah, uh, got my angle wrong and just grinded original teeth into the wrong shape. So needed to reapply the glue and, and uh, reshape the teeth. the gear uh, into its place added some some uh, silicone not silicone but uh, some kind of special Chinese uh, 
yeah, special for the plastic use. And it's well, at least in this position, it's quite loose, so it works quite well. Let's see how it will work when we will assemble it. Okay, so then we need to add the cover. was uh, I, I forgot to add the white frame piece if you will not add it it will not function uh, as, it, as it should only partially so so please do take care how you disassemble the, the machine and uh, in this case uh, the white frame or where were the milk foamer uh, pipe uh, holes uh, needs to be uh, screwed on to the linear actuator. Okay, so I have tested it with uh, with with, with uh, twelve uh, four volts. Uh, added uh, four volts on the contents of the motor. It's running quite good. At the point where we repaired the tooth, it uh, struggles a little bit, but goes through. So I think uh, the normal voltage is five or six volts. So I think it will go through without problems. So let's try to assemble it till till then. So.
and if you want to take off the whole head in principle what you have to do is we have here uh, yeah here you have one uh, with one screw here and one screw here and then what you have is two tabs I'll try to show you here the, these these steps here these steps and what you need to do is you have to lift a little bit this tab and push it a little bit outside the, the outer frame so or let's say the yeah the frame of the display so what I did I from the uh, bottom I pushed a little bit this tab up and then with the screwdriver simultaneously pushed the frame out so yeah difficult to show with uh, with only two hands but this is one thing you have to keep in mind not to break it Okay, so to assemble it further, I forgot to add this metal piece. It goes down here under the. It just uh, holds a little bit better the frame. Now, critical function here, I think. Okay. In place. Then I took this one out to have a better access. And the screws are all the same from the for the outer frame and then some of the parts here. It's I think T five T. Yeah, T fifteen. Okay. We have two screws here. of the display and and the mount assembly no further okay and that's about it for this assembly I don't think we have some missing parts so let's continue with assembly of the frame brought back my frame parts let's add this one Okay, we have two screws on the back. I think that's already the time to screw them in. Then we add the top cover. Okay, here we have to. Hmm, interesting. I think the spring should be like this, hopefully. Now it's under tension. Okay, then we 
at these two connectors. So this is goes like this and then we insert it inside. And the back plate <coughs> simply clips on, or, or you can take it off. You have only these two, two, yeah, stops and stops. So to get it on, it's easy. But to take it off, in principle, you just uh, I just try to pull it up and then it came off so we align the these parts and go down that's it quite easy and what we have less left is four screws two screws at two screws here here and two screws here and that's it yeah, metal plate just takes off uh, without without any screws or anything. 